Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Dilly Land Talk. So today we are going to be ranking every single Call of Duty that came out from COD 1 all the way up to the most recent release, which would be COD Vanguard. Uh, I'll be sharing my thoughts about them. The way that we're going to be ranking these is the full game in a whole, not just multiplayer. It's going to be campaign, multiplayer, and whatever the third mode is, spec ops, zombies, you know the deal. Um, but before we get into it, if you guys could leave a like on the video, subscribe if you enjoy your stay here at Dilly Land Talks. And I got a second channel where I react to EDM music in the do and a Patreon that supports me directly. Those are both down in the description. Go support me over there if you want to. But without further ado, let's just jump right into this one. All right, so these are the tiers we got going. I edited them. I edited them a little bit. We got S, A, B, C, D, F, and never played. There was a like E. There was an E in here, but I took that out. We're going straight to F. Um, and then there was like a. There was like 17 tiers when I opened this damn thing. <laughs> There's not that many cards. It's not that serious. Uh, and we also have never played. So we're gonna start in order, um, from oldest to newest. So I have, I don't know which one of these is COD 1, but I'm assuming this one. I have never played this one. Um, and we got COD 3. I have never played COD 3. Actually, no, that's a lie. I played it on the uh, Wii, actually, like twice, and it was wicked hard, so I put it down. Uh, so that's going to be in there. And then I think this is COD 2. If I'm correct, I've never played COD 2. So we're going to put that in never played. And now we are moving on to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. COD 4, absolute goat. This pioneered so much in gaming as far as uh, FPS shooters go. Great campaign. You know, we got the Muppet Soap, introduced a price. Um, I think this game had Spec Ops, right? I can't, I honestly don't remember now. Wow. I'm having a brain fart. Um, the, but the multiplayer was absolutely nuts. I mean, the M4 sniping around with that thing was absolutely amazing. Also to preface my view on multiplayer, I was very much a sniper back in the day. So most of these old games are going to be, you know, perceived in my mind of how the sniping was and that will reflect the ranking. But I think we got to go with COD 4. I think that's got to be top at A. I don't think it's good enough to be in S. But I mean, this is like real, you know, where it really started, where COD, you know, really came into the mainstream. And then we got World at War. World at War, the campaign was f absolutely fire in this. I love the campaign in this game. Um, this was Treyarch's first game. The multiplayer... I remember not loving the multiplayer as much, um, but the zo I mean, this pioneered zombies, you know what I'm saying? So like huge mode, great mode. I mean, Doris has been remade 45 different times. So I think they, and they pretty much took COD 4's formula and put it into World War II. And I think this is the last really good World War II game we got from COD. So I'm gonna have to, I think, I, yeah, I gotta put that in A. And then we got Modern Warfare 2. I thought about making a new category for this one. I mean, this is, this is going straight into S. This is by far my favorite game of all time. Between the campaign being absolutely crazy, the Spec Ops was actually pretty damn good in this game too. But multiplayer in this game, bar none, best multiplayer of all time. And it's not even a question. I used to, like, dude, it's been like 12 years now. Whole, I think this game came out in 2009, right? But I had a old YouTube channel back in the day hooked up with, like, my crazy, um, I don't even think it was an Elgato. I don't remember what it was. But my capture card and everything hooked up to my super ancient, like, MacBook, uh, just running six mans, you know, one man army new tube to last and then going for trick shots. I have so many great memories on this game. Everything was overpowered. You get the intervention, which is the best sniper of all time. It just, this is an all time classic in this game. Absolutely best Call of Duty that there's ever been. And then we are moving into Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1, 
um, campaign great. You know, the numbers, Mason. <laughs> what do they mean? Uh, crazy. And then you were like, uh, they hinted that you like took out JFK and stuff like that. That campaign was crazy. And then all the stuff with, um, with Reznov coming back from World of War. I mean, and him like imagine and Mason imagining everything. I mean, it was just great, great, great campaign. I'm, I'm pretty sure the game got banned in Cuba too for the assassination attempt on Fidel Castro. So that's just crazy. Uh, they they hold they hold nothing back in this game. Uh, the zombies was very very good in this game. I mean, you got classics like Kino. Um, I think Moon was in this one. So you had a you had a lot of bangers for zombies. And the multiplayer, I know sniping was pretty bad in this one, but I think it was the L1186 was okay. Um, but yeah, Vondi def definitely didn't like sniping. So he really hit it hard in this one. Um, I'm really, I'm going in A tier, but I really don't know that I like it better. I got to put it better than World at War. Because I think World at War really set everything up like, it really set zombies up and started dropping banger maps towards the end and black ops just took everything world at war did and just ran with it you know what i mean yeah so i, I think i think that's gotta go in a and i i didn't like it more than cod 4. so i, th I think that's a good spot for it and then we got modern warfare 3. for the developmental turmoil that happened with modern warfare 3 because you know infinity ward was leaving they had the whole um the whole lawsuit with Activision, which is why Modern Warfare 2, One Man Army New Tubes and stuff like that never got fixed. Um, it was an okay, it was a pretty good game for what it was for. I think they, they developed the thing in like nine months. Um, it was a good ending to the story with Makarov and everything like that. Um, the multiplayer, I didn't like it as much as um, Modern Warfare 2 is pretty much just a copy and paste of a worse version of modern warfare 2 the question is i think i think modern warfare 3 has got to go and be i don't think it deserves a tier it's way too close to modern warfare 2 and it did pretty much everything modern warfare 2 did but worse i mean we did have fun game modes though like infection and um was it survival came out in this game for spec ops i might change that but for right now it's in b uh, and then you got Black Ops 2, which I feel like if somebody's, if people's favorite COD isn't Modern Warfare 2, it's Black Ops 2. Um, I wasn't like a crazy Black Ops 2 stan. Um, but the zombies in this game, I mean, it dropped and the zombies was horrible with transit. And then I'm pretty sure they switched to uh, Blundell, right? In the middle. And that's when the map started getting good. You had maps like... Um, why am I blanking on the name? Night of the Mob of the Dead. Mob of the Dead. You had you started having bangers like that. The campaign was pretty iffy for me, and the multiplayer. I definitely think I enjoyed the multiplayer. I mean, we did have some really, really, really good maps. I don't think I can put it in S. I think I'm gonna have to put this top of A because I really did enjoy the game but I don't think I enjoyed it enough for it to be an S. Um, okay, and then what game came out next? We had Black Ops 2. Was it called Ghosts? Yeah, it's gotta be Ghosts. All right, well, we have our first F. Everything about this game sucked. I mean, they had some good ideas, but then you have stuff like you have to put your UAV on the ground. You know, it's just like, Stuff up, like I I hated COD Ghost. The maps were fucking massive, and I am not a big map fan anyway. Uh, and then you just I think it was Stonehaven. It's like this this game mode this game should have been at least twelve v twelve, and then you're running for half a mile, and then you get shot, and then you gotta run half a mile. It's just like this the whole game was trash. But you did, the only good thing to come out of this game was the dog. I think, uh, Riley. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Riley. Um, and then after that, we have, was it World War II or Advent? 
No, World War II was after the whole... Okay. I think it's Advanced Warfare is next. Um, I... Advanced Warfare, since I actually started owning and playing COD since COD 4, uh, Advanced Warfare was the only game I didn't own. But the main character in the campaign definitely didn't age well. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about there. If you know, you know. Um, it did really influence microtransactions throughout different games. This is really a big pioneer for that. So that's trash. Um, I have I have no idea about the actual campaign or the um, multiplayer aspects. I do know it was the bar or the BAL or something like that. Some variant that like, if you didn't use that, you were dead basically. Um, the only good thing to come out of this game was the memes, you know, press F to pay respects. You got a goat like Jev with the pair of fucking pants meme is so good. Um, I haven't played it, but I'm still putting it in F because it pioneered shit. We had pioneered microtransactions. I mean, I don't care what they did that was good. That it's just, it's just bad. Um, so next, I think, yeah, it's Black Ops 3 next. Black Ops 3 toned down the advanced movement of Advanced Warfare. I played a decent amount of, of Black Ops 3. Um, the multiplayer was okay. I know I didn't love it. Um, but it was, it was okay. The campaign was the worst fucking campaign I've ever played in my life. The most convoluted story. And the only thing that comes out of this campaign is Trango Boom. <laughs> that's, that's it. You know what I mean? Uh, the one redeeming factor is this is probably the best zombie experience start to finish that we've ever gotten. The zombies in, in this game was so good. I think I gotta put it... I gotta put it in, in B. And it's gotta go... I, I liked Modern Warfare 3 more. If, the mul if I liked the multiplayer more, it would definitely go above Modern Warfare 3, but I just... I, I'm not an advanced movement guy, you know what I mean? Um, and next up, we get Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I feel bad for Infinity War. This game was doomed from the start. I mean, it was the most disliked video on YouTube forever. Um, it's just... It was all around doomed. Basically, the only reason I bought the game was so I could play Modern Warfare Remastered. Um, ton of microtransactions. Ton of loot boxes. Just... I don't know. All around, it was okay. I think I, I gotta put it in D. It's it's not an F tier game, I don't think, but it's not good enough to be in like C. Yeah, I think I think D is a good spot for that. And then Call of Duty World War II. This is gonna be a tough one because the campaign was kind of trash, honestly. I don't know if that's a hot take. Um, I enjoyed it enough, but it wasn't like crazy great. Uh, it felt more of like a Hollywood style campaign for what World War II was. You know what I mean? Like, this is a good guy. It's like, I don't know. The zombies, I never really touched it because I just didn't like it. Um, and then the issue I have is with the multiplayer. They kind of, they tried to streamline um, with the uh, divisions, like the airborne division and stuff like that, which I think was an okay idea. I don't think it was executed super well. Um, I did hear that like they went back and updated the hell out of this game and it actually became pretty good But I didn't experience it because it the game totally lost me by that point. You know what I mean? I, I don't think we get to Drop a turd and then polish it up and then get praise for polishing it up You know what I mean? The turd shouldn't have been a turd on release. This is a triple-a title. We're talking about here. You know what I mean? um so I think all in all, I think this is the quintessential C tier video game. It's eh, take it or leave it. You know, I guess I can hop on and play for an hour, but I'll probably get bored. That sort of thing. Uh, Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4, I think, and as well as Black Ops 3, had a pretty bad loot box system, if I remember correctly. Um, there was no campaign in this one. I did play a couple of those stupid little stories, but then I got completely uninterested. Um, the zombies in this game, it was pretty mid. Um, 
they're, you know, they're trying to introduce the new storyline. I think the chaos storyline, if I remember correctly. Um, nine, I want to say. Like, they had a couple good ideas. Like, having a zombies map in the Coliseum is pretty cool. Stuff like that. Having a zombies map on... Was it the Titanic? I think. Um, I played a decent amount of Black Ops 4. Because uh, my best friend was in the Marines at the time. And the only way we could really talk and communicate was on xbox at that time um and the multiplayer was okay i just get the shotgun with dragon's breath and just one tap everybody but it was i don't know this there was no campaign the microtransactions were pretty bad the zombies was okay yeah i think i, I gotta put this in c above world war ii i don't think it deserves to be in the same category as modern warfare 3 and black ops 3 um but it's not a horrendous game and then we got call of duty modern warfare the reboot uh this game did a lot of things well um i love the actor for captain price the campaign was fucking i, I really like this campaign i'm a big modern shooter kind of guy um so i really like this campaign the spec ops I mean, I don't know if they did update it, but I didn't play it if they did. I tried it out when it first came out and that shit was hard as hell for no reason. With no difficulty setting. That that was wicked hard. Um, and I really didn't enjoy it. And then the multiplayer. The multiplayer. I'm also with like a run and gun. Try to either balls to the wall, SMG, shotguns, or like run around and quick scope. And this was so goddamn campy. It's so campy, but my issue is, is do we lump in Warzone with Modern Warfare? And for this ranking, I don't think we do. I think Modern, I think Warzone is kind of its own separate entity. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we can lump that in with Modern Warfare. Um, the graphics in this game are the best I've ever seen. Great graphics. The gunplay, everything felt super smooth. The gunsmith was a really cool addition. Um, first game to not have microtransactions. So we got to give a plus one for that one. I think I got to go. I honestly think I got to go top of B. I think I liked it more than Modern Warfare 3 and Mo uh, Black Ops 3. But I don't think I don't think it deserves A because of how much they tried to cater to the new player. The skill-based matchmaking in this game was very strict too, but I, I think top of B is a I think top of B is a good one. And then we got Cold War. This one is a difficult one to rank too because they weren't even like Treyarch just got thrown into the fire with this one. You know what I mean? If Activision uh, saw that Sledgehammer and Raven couldn't work together, and they were like Treyarch, you gotta just shit out a game in like a year. <laughs> um, that being said, the campaign in this game is damn good too. I really like the campaign. Um, the multiplayer was very, very lackluster upon release, but I'm willing to give Treyarch the benefit of the doubt because of, um, you know, it's not necessarily their fault that the game didn't have as much content as it should have upon release, just because, like I said, they got thrown into the fire with this one. Um... So I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt there. And then the zombies in this game was actually pretty damn fun. I did play a decent amount of zombies here. This was really like my comeback into playing more zombies. So I do got to give credit where credit is due there. I think bottom of B is a great spot for Cold War. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I didn't like it as much as the games above it, but it was pretty damn good. Uh, and then we got Call of Duty Vanguard. The campaign in this game, I thought, was pretty trash for what they were trying to market it to be. I mean, they tried to market this as like, you know, you get a war everywhere in every single area of World War II. And then it was like, you played through the game and it was like, yeah, but the conflicts are just backstories for these characters that I just don't care about. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't really care. I was just kind of going through the motions playing this campaign. Uh, the zombies was fucking awful. The zombies was horrendous. The zombies deserves its own tier list category on here, so I can put it in. Like, F minus. Um, 
the campaign they did a couple good things with the campaign i actually do like combat pacing um if the player if the player base is still good enough and there's a high enough count um i think combat pacing is a damn good idea uh the gunsmith with 10 attachments is just way too much all the challenges being glitched um it's just nothing seems to work right on this game and the multiplayer is just kind of average i don't really like any of the maps that much um the gunplay feels all right i mean it's the modern warfare 2019 engine so it's not going to feel bad i liked it more than infinite warfare and i'm keeping it in d i think that's a good spot for it so this is the tier list let me know in the comments what you guys think about this uh where you would have ranked some stuff if you agree or hate my opinions or anything like that definitely let me know um but yeah i definitely have a lot of fun with these tier lists so if there's anything else you guys want me to um rank let me know that in the comments but it has been dillyland see ya <laughs>